Today in Zachary's 3D Prints news and updates the Mega X Fun Any Cubic, Prusa Printers Beta and Creality's 4 from the 6 printers on their side. Coming up on Zachary's 3D Prints. Hello, this is Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints, bringing you how to reviews, news and other things about 3D printing. If you are new to this channel and not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. You can also follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, I will put every social media link that I have in the description of this video. You can also support this channel as well. The Patreon link I will put in the description of this video. And also if you are looking for nice 3D printers, check the video description. There you find some affiliate links. So we are going to talk about the Mega X from Anycubic. It's a 3D printer with a modular design. You can easy build this 3D printer and one of the key features it has an ultra base platform it's a glass bed with a coating over it reality would say a carborundium glass bed and further features are for example the powerful extruder with this powerful extruder you can even print tpu the flexible material most cases that i heard that this tpu can be printed with direct drive so if any cubic is saying that this powerful extruder can also print tpu well job well done also effortless leveling of your bed instead of the little thumb screws they use bigger wheels to level your bed so the same kind of leveling that reality is using on for example the ender 3 some specs of this 3d printer like i mentioned it's a it has a building volume of 300 by 300 by 305 it's a fdm fff printing technology it can have an layout between the 0.05 until 0.3 also the printing speed is between the 20 till 100 millimeters per second recommended suggested by any cubic 60 millimeters per second the nozzle diameter is 0.4 but i guess you can exchange them for smaller or bigger ones further the maximum temperature for the nozzle is 205 degrees and the maximum bed temperature is 90 degrees celsius so you can print pla abs tpu hips wood but also i guess pteg i don't know why they left that out maybe because of the carborundium glass bed i don't know uh, also the connectivity is an sd card they also mention data cable but they say in the brackets uh expert users only so i don't know what they mean with that but the only way to connect your 3d printer with as a normal user is a sd card i don't know if it is a normal sd card or a micro sd card any other things it has a du dual z lead screw so that would mean that on both sides of the z axis that there are some stepper motors and also one of the other features is a dual profiled y axis so during the print the bed is more stable and you get less effects on your 3d prints so if you are interested in this 3d printer you can buy it for 407 dollars i will put the link of the website in the description of my video and it's on pre-sales i don't know when they are going to go live with this they don't have mentioned any date here on the site but as soon as it is available they will ship it as soon as possible but be aware there is a little delay in shipping so the lead time would be a little bit longer depending on in which country you are living up to the next 
topic so news about Creality 3D printers now four of the six 3D printers that Creality announced in their live stream three weeks ago they are visible on their site the CR6 SE which is going to be on Kickstarter as of the 6th of May if you don't have a Kickstarter account yet sign up for one and then you can crowdfund this awesome looking 3d printer from Creality. and then we have the ender 6 it's a core xy 3d printer with a printing speed of 150 millimeters per second and the ender 3 version 2 is one of the printers that also is on the side of Creality. you can pre-order it for $269 and shipping from June or July this year. I will put the link in the description to buy this 3D printer from Creality. And also the CR5 Pro is on the site. So and now the last topic of this Sakri 3D print news and updates. So and the last news, Prusa Printers Beta what is it and what can you do with it well what it is not it's the printer for that you have prusa research where you can buy your 3d printers from and this is prusa printers it's a test i guess from prusa and bringing all makers together on one platform like thingiverse and my mini factory websites where you can share your files with for 3d printing of course so let's check some of the things out well if you are good to the site don't forget to sign up for this site and then you can share your files but also use other people's files just like thingy first and my mini factory or just like other type of websites on this prusa printer beta you find just like my mini factory or thingy first you start already seeing some some images from files that you can download and start printing well you have the prusa face shield you got some um, Pokemon chess set you got some other cool things here on the site and Prusa says on this site join your local 3d printing community find original Prusa owners around you get in touch and create something awesome and that is what I like about 3d printing creating amazing things alone but also together with the rest of this community well you can do explore map and there you can find all original Prusa owners in a city near you. So how does it work? You download, you put it on an SD card and you start printing it. Hey, it's awesome. It's like thingy first on my mini factory, but you can find 3D printer parts, you can find models, you can find anything that you would find on other sites like my mini factory or thingiverse check out i will put the link in the description of this video so that was it for zachary's 3d prints news and updates well for all the sites that i mentioned i will put the link in the description of this video maybe you want to buy a mega x from any cubic or you want to wait and buy one of the creality 3d printers Maybe you also want to crowdfund the CR6 SE. And if you just have a little bit of patience, you can get some awesome 3D printers. Then if you have, if you already have a 3D printer and you want to start something brand new, then go to Prusa Printers Beta. It's a sharing uh, website like Thingiverse or My Mini Factory. Well, that being said, that was it for this week. 
that was it for today's video from Zachary's 3D Prints news and updates. Thanks for watching. Please like this video, subscribe to Zachary 3D Prints, and hey, let's make some fun with 3D printing. Zachary 3D Prints. Bye bye.